Welcome to No Longer Conformed. We're studying the book of Revelation. In this session, we're looking at Revelation chapter 14, verse 8. Power in ruins. Revelation 14, 8. And another angel followed, saying, Babylon is fallen, is fallen, that great city, because she has made all nations drink of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. Remember I quoted last time Charles Ryrie that chapter 14 reads like a table of contents of the events in the remainder of the book of Revelation. Seven events are announced in this, in this chapter. The Lamb, first of all, on Mount Zion with the 144,000 at the beginning that we looked at a couple, a couple of times ago. The messenger with the eternal gospel of judgment, which we saw last time. The doom of Babylon, which we're looking at this time in this session. And then the wrath of God on worshipers of the beast. The happiness of the righteous dead. The harvest of the righteous. And then the gathering of the unrighteous for judgment. Babylon, which literally means confusion, stands for all that is in the world, all that is the world, as opposed to the call of God to follow his ways only. Man does have the capacity to love God. Therefore, anything that draws the love of man from God is ultimately satanic and must be judged. Revelation chapter 16 and verse 9. And men were scorched with great heat, and they blasphemed the name of God who has power over these plagues, and they did not repent and give him glory. It says that Babylon is falling, is fallen. Judgment is sure. It covers two chapters, the judgment of Babylon in chapter 17 and 18. And the word because, well, that's a reference to chapter 17, verses 2 through 5. It says, then one of the seven angels who had the seven bowls came and talked with me, saying to me, come, I will show you the judgment of the great harlot who sits on many waters, with whom the kings of the earth committed fornication, and the inhabitants of the earth were made drunk with the wine of her fornication. So he carried me away in the spirit into the wilderness, and I saw a woman sitting on a scarlet beast, which was full of names of blasphemy, having seven heads and ten horns. The woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet and adorned with gold and precious stones and pearls, having in her hand a golden cup full of abominations and the filthiness of her fornication, and on her forehead a name was written, Mystery, Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots and of the abominations of the earth. Listen, the attraction of the world system is powerful and is warned against in Scripture. James chapter 4 and verse 4, adulterers and adulteresses, do you not know that friendship with the world is enmity with God? Whoever therefore wants to be a friend of the world makes himself an enemy of God. 1 John chapter 2, verse 15, down to verse 17. Do not love the world or the things in the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life, is not of the Father, but is of the world. And the world is passing away, and the lust of it. But he who does the will of God abides forever. In Jeremiah, chapter 51, verses 6 through 9. Flee from the midst of Babylon, and everyone save his life. Do not cut off, do not be cut off in her iniquity. For this is the time of the Lord's vengeance. He shall recompense her. 
Babylon was a golden cup in the Lord's hand that made all the earth drunk. The nations drank her wine. Therefore, the nations are deranged. Babylon has suddenly fallen and been destroyed. Wail for her. Take balm for her hand. Perhaps she may be healed. We would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her and let us, and let us go everyone to his own country for her judgment reaches to heaven and is lifted up to the skies. We saw a world religious system and a world economic system in chapter 13 satanically intertwined. Satan, the Antichrist, and the false prophet with a rise and fall over three and a half years during the Great Tribulation. Their fall is as fast as their rise. You have a great day.